here is a case of flexible scope guided supa and pcnl first of all is it necessary we have to see if two calices are by the side actually this is 35 years old female patient with two stones are there see this is in the anterior calyx and posterior side by small calyx with just a separation of 2 mm the infundibulae so during the workshop we planned for uh, demonstration of the supine pcnl during that time we kept the options of uh, rirs and pcnl upper ureter stone migrated see these are the two calices which are present side by so we went inside we have inserted the access sheath and uh, flexible scope is inserted pushed stone is seen in the pelvis which is a straight forward for rirs this is the pushed stone not very big this is the are the calices upper calyx long infundibulum small stone was there that stone we have picked out this is picked out and in fact it came out through the 9.5 access sheet good this is the first advantage of rirs because this was in the upper calyx after that we inspected we have seen one middle calyx there are two calyces here side by if you see like this this stone could not come out with basket anyway we have positioned for both rirs and supine position because it was demonstration so we could put the contrast <coughs> in that calyx which is separated by a small same lateral calyx so we because it's a dilated system puncture immediately uranus come see i am on this stone when i pass the guide wire i am not through that calyx see i am through the above calyx here exactly in the center but no use because it's side by so keeping that we have punctured again and aiming that calyx urine has come and we passed the guide wire with that guide wire again it has come from the other calyx only they were separated by so nearby so both we removed we aimed this time the stone clearly exactly the stone in two dimensions 0 degree and 30 degree now see exactly in the stone related and now when the guide wire has passed the stone has gone into the pelvis immediately see see when guide wire coiled inside the calyx we have seen clearly that it is coming see the now stone has come out into the kidney so now we can do rirs we can do pcnl the only point to tell is that sometime two calyces which are separated by very close see this is the dilatation center of the calyx dilatation this all may not be necessary but uh, if you are doing supine pcnl there is an advantage that you can utilize the flexible scope aid first thing is one small stone in the upper calyx is removed and two stones uh, single step dilatation uh, uh, amplash it 15 french and both stones have come out uh, we thought we will use the laser but actually in a dilated system if you start it will be moving like this that is another point we want to share so immediately we have exchanged initially 12 french dilatation ultra mini perk we thought after that we have changed to 15 french dilatation so in 15 french dilatation because anyway it is a perfect puncture you can dilate up to 15 no problem and uh, two stones the clear is there and immediately they came out of the ampla sheath collapsed system see this is a dilated system even in rirs dilated system is not good pcnl it is good so three stones one is in the upper calyx uh, another is in the uh, Mm, see this is the system and there is no stone now so sometimes uh, flexible scope may help your puncture that's why we are sharing otherwise this is a easy case for rirs even for pcnl uh, from lower calyx if you go you might have gone into the middle calyx nothing uh, really message but multiple stones if they are there and if they are not uh, good by volume wise for rirs then all these stones can be kept in the pelvis and then you can use the 
uh, whatever the puncture we can use and then get out with 100% stone free rate. Thank you.